Jackpot. Tonight's po Studios of CMU Public Television. Tonight, a season 10 semifinal between Marlette and Traverse City Central. Next, on Quiz Central. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com. The CMU Bookstore, celebrating 10 seasons as a proud sponsor of Quiz Central, on campus in the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the CMU Events Center. On the buzzers, with Central begins now. Hudson. St. Petersburg. The Maori. Egypt. The Civil War. Christmas Carol. Good evening. Welcome on in. Yes, it's great to have you here tonight on Quiz Central. We're down to our final four teams. Four division champions playing down to one undefeated champion here in season 10 as we welcome in Marlette and Traverse City Central. Each team has already won a division title. Now one team in the semi will move to the grand championship game. We started off with 48 teams this season. We divided them into four separate 12 team divisions based on the size of the schools. The red, white, blue and gold divisions each crowned a champion and the four starters and three alternates of those division championship teams will each receive a two year $4,000 residence hall scholarship scholarship to Central Michigan University provided by CMU's Residence Life. Plus, we're going to award four textbook scholarships to four lucky Quiz Central seniors, courtesy of the CMU Bookstore. One team moves to the championship game. Who will it be? Let's get right to it. Opening round here tonight, the Maroon and Gold Rush. Two minute rapid fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers? will allow the opposing team's individuals to try to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in round number one, and correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. Are you ready? Get your hands on the buzzers. We put two minutes on the clock. Quiz Central begins now. What animal is asked, in what furnace was thy brain, and is said to have fearful symmetry? in a William Blake poem that describes it as burning bright. And nobody knows, next que too late. Next question, both teams. What organs have lamellae that increase surface area and a Traverse City Central Riley? Lamellae, that would be lungs. That is not right. Marlette, I'll finish for one of you. And allow counter current exchange of gases facilitating intake of oxygen by fish. Marlette Henry. Gills. Gills is right, and Marlette is on the board first. The architect, Alvar Alto, hailed from what country? Also the birthplace of the man who designed St. Louis's gateway arch, Aero Saarinen. Traverse City Central, Matt. Finland. Yes, Finland is right. TC Central's on the board. What baseball team wore rainbow uniforms in the 1970s? Traverse City Central, Alex. Arizona Diamondbacks? No, that's not right. Marlette, I'll finish for one of you. Fired manager Bo Porter in 2014 is led by Jose Altuve and plays Marlette Chris. Houston Astros. Yes, that is right. Barnard's star is a dwarf described by what adjective that also denotes giant stars like Beetlejuice and a storm known as the Great Traverse City Central Riley. Sorry, red. Yes, red is right. The historian Barbara Tuckman wrote a book about the guns of what? Marlette Henry. August. Yes, August is right. What man who raided Cadiz to delay the Spanish Armada and named California New Albion captained the Golden Hind when he circum... Marlette Henry. Drake. Yes, sir, Francis Drake is right. Time is up for the opening round. Good round for both teams. It is Marlette 40, Traverse City Central 20. The only question was the first question. It gotcha. That animal that is burning bright is a tiger. And there you go.
All right, time to take a little breather and introduce both of these teams in this semifinal game here tonight as we welcome in Marlette High School. Chris, welcome back to Quiz Central. Hello, I'm Chris Blatt. I'm a senior at Marlette. I'm in the varsity baseball and football team, and I'm a, the math team's captain. <clears throat> Hello, my name's Henry Bartholomew. I'm a senior, and I enjoy studying politics, economics, and history. My name is Becky Taylor. I'm a senior at Marlette High. I participate in track, quiz bowl, and the science academic games team. My name is Colin Blatt. I am a senior at Marlette, and I am in Rocket Club, Boy Scouts, and I am the captain of the Social Studies Academic Games team. And Marlette is coached by Bruce Erland and Carolyn Taylor. The alternates are Grace Decker, Leela Milligan, and Katherine Howard. Nice round of applause for Marlette High School. <laughs> and their opponents from Traverse City Central. Matt, welcome. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm an eighth grader at East Middle School, and I play tennis. I'm Alex Henderson. I'm a senior at Central High School, and I do track. My name is Riley Dorgan. I'm a freshman at Traverse City Central High School, and I do martial arts. I'm William Chown. I'm a junior at Traverse City Central, and I love to read anything by Tolkien. And Traverse City Central is coached by John Failer. The alternates are Blake Beyer and Peter Andreessen. Nice round of applause for Traverse City Central. Two outstanding division champions battling head-to-head -head for one spot in the championship game. Let's get right back to it. It is time for the kickoff round. Round two, the kickoff, will kick it off with a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up with the team answering correctly, getting 10 points. After a correct answer, that team will be asked up to three bonus questions, which will be worth 10 points apiece. Consulting among team members is allowed only on the bonus questions, not on the toss-up. And once a team incorrectly answers a bonus, we'll go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Get your buzzers ready. Here is your first toss-up question. This author... Imagine the life of a Neanderthal in his novel, The Inheritors. In his first novel, Simon is killed after being mistaken for a beast. Marlette Collin. William Golding. Yes, Golding is right. Jumped it early. I was going to add to the author of Lord of the Flies, but you didn't need it. Got it. Bonus questions now for Marlette. No buzzers needed. You can confer, Becky, the answers from you. Name these companies whose stock price is used in computing the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Among the products owned by this company are the Band-Aid and a No More Tears Baby Shampoo. Johnson. Johnson & Johnson? Yes, that is right. Second bonus for you. The only remaining original member of the average is this conglomerate which owns NBC. Becky, NBC an Universal? Ah, uh, no, that is not right. It is General Electric, able to get one on the bonus. 60 to 20, Marlette on top and a toss-up. Both teams, get your buzzers ready. This river runs through Meroway, the ancient capital of Kush. Its first cataract marks the beginning of Lake Nasser, Traverse City Central, Matt. The Nile. Yeah, the Nile is right. Going to name this African river the longest in the world. Didn't need it. Got it early. Bonus questions now for Traverse City Central. No buzzers needed. You can confer, Alex, the answers from you. This novel begins by describing a meeting called by the pig old major who says, let us face it, our lives are miserable, laborious, and short. Name this novel in which beasts revolt against Mr. Jones and take control of the title establishment. Animal Farm. That is right. Second bonus for you. Animal Farm was written by this author who described the suffering of human laborers in The Road to Wigan Pier. George Orwell. That is right. And a chance to sweep the bonus. This early leader of the animal revolution draws up plans for a windmill but is ousted by his rival, Napoleon. Squealer. Squealer? No, Squealer is not right. I'm not sure if Squealer was in the book or not, but it is Snowball. Able to get two on the bonus. All right, toss-up question. Both teams on the buzzers. In 1999, this country fought a larger neighbor in the Cargill War. This country accelerated one of its weapons programs under Zulfikar Ali Bhutto in response to the 1974 Smiling Buddha nuclear test. India disputes Marlette Henry. Pakistan. Yes, yes, Pakistan is right. Disputes this. Uh, what country? His capital is Islamabad. Nicely done. Ten points. Bonus questions again for Marlette. No buzzers are needed. Although the United States is a republic, 
Several of its citizens have become royalty. Actress Grace Kelly became a princess when she married Prince Rainier, the ruler of this gambling center and tax haven surrounded on three sides by France. Monaco? Yes, Monaco is right. Second bonus for you. In 1859, in this West Coast city, Joshua Norton proclaimed himself emperor of the U.S. He later issued a decree that a bridge be built between this city and Oakland. San Francisco? Yes, San Francisco is right and a chance to sweep. Lisa Hallaby became Queen Noor of this Middle Eastern country when she married its King Hussein in 1978. Saudi Arabia? No, that is not the right one. Jordan is the correct country, able to get two on the bonus, and that bell signals the end of the round. Marlette 90, Traverse City Central 50. We'll take a timeout, we'll come back with the perfect 10 right after this. My children are growing, and it's so amazing how quick they change. Perhaps PBS made me a better father. The answer is yes, I mean, believe me, kids don't come with instructions. Sometimes you face those moments, it's like, what do I do? And you will be watching PBS Kids and thinking, wow, very wise. Finally, I got the answer. <laughs> and that's the kind of TV we need to be supporting today. What if we could unlock every mystery? We're at the beginning of a revolution. That's a huge discovery. That's never been done before, ever, anywhere. Touchdown confirmed. No one feeds on curiosity like PBS. Give to your PBS station so future generations can keep asking, what if? And welcome back. Grand Championship semifinal here tonight. Our next show is the other semifinal as we welcome back division champions Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart and Sault Ste. Marie Area High School. Hope you'll join us for that. Time for us to move to an important round here tonight. It's called the Perfect Ten. This is a 60-second round. Each team will have a separate set of 10 questions from their choice of three categories. Teams can either answer or pass a question in order to answer as many of the 10 questions as possible in 60 seconds. The opposing team will then have 30 seconds to answer any that were passed, incorrectly answered, or questions we didn't get to in the time limit. Each correct answer worth 10 points. Teams you can consult in the perfect 10. The team that is trailing as first choice of the clues to the categories. Traverse City Central, that's you tonight. Here are those important clues. They are Rockin' Robin, and now the West of the Story, or Beetlejuice. Now the, West. Now, the West. now the West of the Story. And now the West of the Story. Category is West. Answer the following about people, places, or things whose names include the word West. Again, West. Answer the following about people, places, or things whose names include the word West. 60 seconds on the Traverse City Central Clock. Capital of West Virginia. Um, Columbia. Columbia? No, that's not right. F. Scott Fitzgerald novel set in West Egg. Um, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby? Yeah, that is right. New York Tribune publisher who wrote Go West, Young Man. Um, manifest. Manifest? No, that's not right. Master of Suspense, who directed North by Northwest. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Yeah, that is right. English poet of Ode to the West Wind. Pass. 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 Principal country opposed by the Cold War's Western Bloc. Russia. Soviet Union. USSR. Yeah, that is right. Creator of a Wild West show, nicknamed for his bison hunting exploits. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Yeah, that's right. British general whose death in Canada was painted by Benjamin West. Nelson. Nelson? No, that is not right. Country whose state of West Bengal, and time is up, didn't get to the last two, four correct answers and 40 points to tie the game at 90-90. But six out there for Marlette to try to steal. Again, you'll have 30 seconds. The category is West. Answer the following about people, places, or things whose names include the word West. 30 seconds on the Marlette clock.
capital of West Virginia? Charleston? Yes, that is right. New York Tribune publisher who wrote Go West, Young Man. Horace Greeley? Yes, Greeley is right. English poet of Ode to the West Wind. Shakespeare? What was that? Shakespeare? No, that is not right. British general whose death in Canada was painted by Benjamin James West. Wolf. Wolf is right. Country whose state of West Bengal includes Calcutta. India. India? Yes, that's right. Superhero played on TV by Adam West. During the 60s, time is up. Didn't get that one in. Bell Beach, you got four correct answers. Two that neither team got. That English poet was Percy Shelley. And the last one would have been Batman, of course. Adam West during the 1960s. One of my favorites still. All right, it is 130 to 90. Marlette, two categories left to choose from here in the Perfect Ten. They are Rockin' Robin or Beetlejuice. Second one is probably about the Beatles. I'm, going with, I'm doing Rockin' Robin. Rockin' Robin? Rockin' Robin it is. The category for you is Robin Williams. Answer the following about films in which Robin Williams appeared. Again, Robin Williams. Answer the following about films in which Robin Williams appeared. 60 seconds on the Marlette clock. His Bicentennial Man was based on a sci-fi novel by this man. Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov? Yeah, that's right. This film about a game was based on a Chris Van Allsburg Jumanji? book. Jumanji? Yes, Jumanji's right. He played Adrian Cronauer in a film whose title bids this nation good morning. Vietnam. Yeah, that's correct. Foppish Courtier he played in 1996 Hamlet. Uh, Rosencrantz or Guildenstern. It's one of the two. Rosencrantz? No, that is not right. Comedy in which Robin Williams cross-dresses as the title English nanny. Pass. He starred in an adaptation of this author's Seize the Day. Dead Poet Society. Dead Poet Society? No, that's not right. He played Peter Pan in this film. Hook. Hook. Hook is right. He was the president in Night at the Museum. He was this president. Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. Yes, that's right. 2006 cartoon about penguins in which he appeared. And did not get it in. Bell beat you just before you got it. Didn't get to the last one. Five correct. 50 points. Traverse City Central. Five out there for you to try to steal. Again, the category, Robin Williams, the great Robin Williams. Answer the following about films in which Robin Williams appeared. 30 seconds on the Traverse City Central clock. Foppish Courtier, he played in 1996 Hamlet. Guildenstern. Guildenstern? No, that's not right. Comedy in which Robin Williams cross dresses. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, that is right. He starred in an adaptation of this author's Seize the Day. Pass. 2006 cartoon about Happy Pink. Feet. Yes, Happy Feet is right. He won an Oscar for this movie starring Matt Damon as a genius. Good Will Hunting. Yes, that is right. And that is all five, stealing three of the five. And the two that you did not get, that uh, courtier he played in Hamlet was Osric. And the adaptation of Seize the Day, Saul Bellow was the author that I needed. All right, 180 to 120. Marlette with the lead over Traverse City Central. Perfect 10 is in the books. Time for a very important fourth round. It is time for the home stretch. As we head down the home stretch, I'll have more toss-up questions. Followed by bonus questions for the team that answers the toss-up correctly. All correct answers, 10 points apiece. Here's an important one. Get your buzzers ready. Here it is. This country lost a July 2014 court decision to NML Capital and other holdout investors, leading to a debt default. Speculation of a second 2014 devaluation of its peso has... Traverse City Central, Alex. Mexico? No, that is not right. Marlette will finish for one of you. Has been denied by the government of Cristina Kirchner. Marlette Collin. Argentina. Yes, Argentina is right. What homeland of Pope Francis is what I would have added. Didn't need that. Bonus questions for Marlette. No buzzers needed, and you can confer. Name these people associated with the Warren Commission. The Warren Commission was established by Lyndon B. Johnson to investigate the assassination of this president, Johnson's predecessor. JFK. JFK. Yeah, JFK. John F. Kennedy is right. Second bonus for you. The commission concluded that this man acted alone in assassinating John F. Kennedy. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes, Oswald is right and a chance to sweep. 
The commission's report included a biography of this nightclub owner who killed Lee Jack Harvey Ruby? Oswald. Jack Ruby? Yes, Ruby is right, and a sweep of the bonus for Marlette. It is 220 to 120, and a toss-up for both teams. Buzzer's ready. This ruler met Francis I of France at the Field of the Cloth Marlette Henry. Henry VIII. Yes, Henry VIII is right. You got it with about five words in. I was going to have you name this English king who broke from the Catholic Church. Had a lot of wives, probably six of them. Got it early. Nice job. Bonus questions now. Again, no buzzers needed for Marlette. Answer the following about the city of Oakland, California. It is home to this NFL franchise, which returned here in 1995 the after Raiders. spending over a decade in Los Angeles. The Raiders. The Raiders is right. The Oakland Raiders. Second bonus for you. The city's downtown is home to a square named for this author of The Call of the Wild, who lived in Oakland as a teenager. Jack London. Yeah, London is right. And a chance to sweep. This African-American party was founded in Oakland in 1966 by Huey Newton and Bobby Seale. Rainbow Coalition. What do you think, Black Panthers? Becky, I need an answer from you. Rainbow Coalition? No, not the right one. It is the Black Panther Party. Able to get two on the bonus. That bell signals the end of the round. One round to go. Who moves on to the Season 10 Grand Championship game? We'll find out right after this. My child who's watching Super Y, and it said, what letter makes the sound err? And my two-year-old is jumping up and down going, R, R, R. <laughs> I love that. I wish I knew the genius that came up with Dinosaur Train. I mean, what little boy especially doesn't like dinosaurs and trains and to put them together in one show? My family does without a lot of stuff, but I would be horrified if we had to do without PBS. Interested in getting behind the scenes information about CMU Public Television and CMU Public Radio on the web or on your phone? Get connected with CMU Public Broadcasting online. Visit us on our Facebook page or send WCMU TV a tweet. Get the latest news from public radio and watch our local Michigan TV programs on YouTube. Like, follow, and watch. Stay connected with CMU Public Broadcasting on the web and learn more online at WCMU.org. And welcome back. Great to have you back here tonight on Quiz Central semifinal game for season 10. One of these teams will move on to the grand championship game, a chance to win it all. Let's find out who it's going to be. Time for us to go into our final countdown, fifth and final round. Two minute rapid fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team's individuals to try to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in the final countdown and correct answers are worth 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Get your hands on the buzzers. Two minutes on the clock. Final countdown begins now. What 2011 album, which includes the single You and I and a title track that repeats the lyric, I'm on the right track, baby, Traverse City Central, Matt. The Fame. No, that's not right. I'll finish Marlette for one of you. Was released by Lady Gaga. Nobody knows. Next question, both teams. The Gulf of Gonav and Gonav Island are in the western part of what country that shares the island of Hispaniola with Traverse City Central, Matt? Haiti. Yes, Haiti is right. What 1955 play that takes its title from a biblical proverb about a man who troubles his own household is based on the Scopes Monkey Trial. Marlette Henry. Gone with the Wind? No, that's not right. Traverse City Central, Traverse City Central, Matt. Inherit the Wind? Yes, that is right. At a fundraiser in Boca Raton, what man denigrated the 47% of Americans who... Traverse City Central, Matt. Mitt Romney. Yeah, that is correct. What character whose junior partner, Sally Kimball, protects him from Bugs Meany, solves Marlette Henry. Encyclopedia Brown. Yeah, yeah, that is right. Pedro Arias de Vila ordered the 1519 execution of what Spanish explorer who led an expedition across the Isthmus of Panama to view the Pacific Ocean? Marlette Henry. Balboa. Yeah, yeah. that is right. What peninsula, which was known to the Greeks as Torica, lies between the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov? Traverse City Central, Matt. Gallipoli. No, that's not right. Marlette will finish for one of you. And was this Marlette Collin? Kirch. No, that's not right. Next question, both teams. What condition 
which can be treated with calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and or low salt diets is also called hypertension. Traverse City Central, Matt. Osteoporosis. No, that's not right. Marlette, I've read the entire question. Marlette Henry. High blood pressure. Yes, that is right. What article of the Constitution? Time is up. A nice round of applause for both teams. Marlette, congratulations. You will move on to the championship game. In the final round, uh, only a couple of questions got you. That uh, Lady Gaga album, I'm kind of glad you didn't know this one. Uh, it's called Born This Way, is what it is. Uh, the peninsula is the Crimean Peninsula, Crimea, and those are the only two that you missed. Marlette, congratulations. You will move on to the championship game in season 10. You've gone as far as you can go now. One more game for you. Traverse City Central, congratulations. It is tough to get here. Uh, to this point on Quiz Central, you're a very young team, and I'm sure that you will be back. This is your first time on Quiz Central. Great job winning your division. Alex, the lone senior, the lone wolf out there, uh, best of luck in your future endeavors and your underclassmen. We hope to see you back here again next season. We hope to see you back here again next time. The other semifinals, Sault Ste. Marie and Sacred Heart Academy in Mount Pleasant, battling to find out who plays Marlette in the grand championship game. We'll see you next time on Quiz Central. Good night, everybody. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com. The CMU Bookstore, celebrating 10 seasons as a proud sponsor of Quiz Central, on campus in the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the CMU Events Center. Interested in getting behind-the-scenes information about CMU Public Television and CMU Public Radio on the web or on your phone? Get connected with CMU Public Broadcasting online. Visit us on our Facebook page or send WCMU TV a tweet. Get the latest news from Public Radio and watch our local Michigan TV programs on YouTube. Like, follow, and watch. Stay connected with CMU Public Broadcasting on the web and learn more online at WCMU.org. In the largest metropolis on earth, an army of construction workers. It's unbelievable. Somebody tied all of these individual pieces. Is racing to build a city within a city. Shanghai Tower truly is going to be a vertical city. As a typhoon takes aim at Shanghai. Typhoon is the biggest enemy to construction. Meet the men and women who are reimagining our future. Hundreds of stories above the ground. Super skyscrapers. Tonight at 10 on CMU Public TV. In the Earth's oceans, a deadly recipe is brewing. 30 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the ocean each and every day. They can move, they can adapt, or unfortunately, they die. Can ocean life as we know it endure? One reef may hold the answer. They really hit a jackpot. This is such a scientific gold mine. Lethal Seas on Nova. Tonight at 9 on CMU Public TV. People are looking for more light and less heat. Washington Week viewers are going to get it straight ahead, and that's what they count on us for. When we do these road shows, it not only helps me, but it helps all of our panelists to find out what is really on people's minds. We want to let you know what the information is, and then you decide what you want to think. That's what I think is unique about public broadcasting. There's nothing else like it out there. Support comes from Country Smokehouse in Elmont. 
offering a selection of gourmet meats, including homemade sausage and jerky. Also available...